How to Draw Cartoons with John Mark. Today's lesson, we're going to do this cute little cartoon dinosaur underwater. All right, let's begin the lesson. And you'll notice I'm going to be using a blue pencil to sketch this lesson out first, followed by my traditional mechanical pencil. From time to time, you'll see me doing both of them just to share the different uh, ways and styles that I uh, sketch out and uh, draw uh, and so forth. So let's begin the lesson. And as you can see, we have this cute little dinosaur's body, his head, his where his arms are going to be and his feet. And the reason, once again, to share it for those who are not familiar with the blue pencil is because you do not need to erase or you can separate uh, the blue line visually and you can do much cleaner lines with your traditional lead. So it kind of separates the two different layers, a quick sketch and then the tighter one that follows uh, the drawing. And you'll see that in the lesson, of course. So when you're using um your imagination feel free to explore a lot of things with this one change the shape the size uh, uh what the eyes that won't have to look like the way i'm making very simple ones um you could change it totally to your own style basically so what i'm doing here now is just putting the expression on i can make him a little smiling on here there you go a little smile cheek on there his eye his eyebrow his chin underneath there a little lip sticking out a little bit more. Give a little character in there. And the top of his head kind of flat and square. And his little nostril right there. And when you're doing um, your drawings and everything, don't worry about, once again, erasing. Because from time to time, I always share that uh, I just leave my lines on here because this is just a thumbnail slash sketch. It's not a perfect final drawing. When you take it to the light box and you got to clean it up, those are different uh, content uh, that you may want to actually to clean up and erase. And definitely after you're inking, you got to erase the pencils on there. So here's a little horizon line for the little, for little dinosaur and his, his head there just gets looking good, you know. All right, so you know what? I'm going to create the little um, mask for him when he's underneath where he just has a little bubble around his head. And I'm going to create all those elements in there to show you that we're in the water, like these little bubbles. I'm going to create some seaweed and coral later. All right, just bubbles randomly throughout the picture here and there. Now, this is just a fun little um, creation. So when you're thinking of drawing something, why did I um, use my imagination that led me in this way? Well, those of you who know my series know that I enjoy fish and I enjoy the dinosaurs. So I thought of combining the two and putting the dinosaur underwater. Okay, over here is just a little coral reef that I'm just creating little different sizes and, and foreground and background so they're not all flat same thing with the uh, seaweed on the far right there i have them overlapping you know let's get a little bit more detail it's looking good yep you know what i'm thinking i'm going to be beginning the cleaning stage now you can see the difference between the traditional pencil um that i'm using right now from the blue pencil see how sharp the lines are now you can easily see them standing out because the blue pencil is underneath and it doesn't kind of soften them up when you're actually drawing so a blue pencil to the traditional lead kind of stands out makes up the picture look cleaner than a typical sketch and his little body there. You can still see I'm still kind of sketching. It's not straightforward. It's not like an inking. If I'm inking, totally different. Totally different. You want the stroke to be one clean uh, movement. You don't want to have multiples in there. And I like to use a brush over a uh, pen, like a rapidograph. But a rapidograph is easy for backgrounds on um, straight objects, like buildings and structures. But when you're doing... Uh, like a dinosaur, I would definitely like to use a number two brush and then I can really get a nice lines on there. All right. I'm not a fan out of um, rapidograph pens. I like the brush because I can go thick and skinny when I'm pushing down there. I haven't had videos like that. I should share what I'm talking so you guys can see uh, what I'm, 
I'm sharing with you. So maybe I should do a lesson on that, on teaching how to ink the old fashioned way. All right, here's a little leg over here and the body overlapping the toes. So I like to do that, it's like the one on the outside, one in the middle, a little bit bigger, and then you bring the other one inside just a little bit. And you have that perspective again, his little belly there, cute little arm there. And it's like miniaturized, like he's really small. So it's not like he can eat any ice cream, of course. He'll have a hard time. But he's not a anything to use your imagination on. Okay, getting back to the hand. I'm sorry, I'm focusing on the drawing and talking. I apologize. I lost my train of thought there for a second. That happens being an artist. Okay, back to the foot here. So you can see here, I have the one in the front and it's going to be a little bigger. And then the second one is going to just be just a be on the other side. And the third one's even smaller. So you can kind of see that curvature. And you know, I'm just going to shade this in really softly, this separate little cross hatch. And the same thing with this hand since it's on the other side. All right, that's looking good. I like that. Well, you know what? Let's add some spots. Just because you didn't you put it in blue pencils doesn't mean you have to have them. Like, for instance, like the spots I just threw in right now. They were easy. All right. You let that add a little freckles or spots on the top corner here by his face. Yeah, I like that, too. That's look nice. Much better, much better. Yeah, smile there. You can see, can you see how the blue pencil is underneath and how it really, really stands out more the traditional? You should pr really practice. If you don't, it doesn't matter any type of blue pencil that would be considered like a cyan and very light, not dark blue, more of a light blue, as you can see there in the top right hand corner. All right, let's just shade in those little spikies for him and work on the little coral reef here. That's good, just creating that. And sometimes what you need to do is um, draw on another piece of paper before you do your thumbnails. Just sketch whatever you want to, then combine them all together. Uh, this lesson, I didn't do that. Some lessons I have to do that when I'm building um, an idea out. And I don't have it all flushed out in my mind. I need to really just get a couple scrap paper and flush out my thoughts and then i can look at all those uh, sketches and combine them and make them to the final the drawing or the illustration all right a little bottom there i like that looking good you know shading some of the backgrounds here the ones on the back side i like that little shadow and let's get the seaweed here the overlapping action there we go a little Rip mark here and there. I do these standard ones, these really uh, like a grass blade looking um, seaweed. They come in all different shapes and sizes. This is just something simple for me to start with, you guys. Okay, I like that one there. A little niche in there as well. All right, get down the bottom. Let's shade this one in here and on the back so it's like it shows like it's on the further side. And the leaf has two spots there. All right, little shadow underneath him. Just like random speed lines. Yep, yep. Okay, you know what? Let's clean up his little bubble for his head so he can breathe in there. And as you can see, it's not purposely designed, pur purposely wise for like a backpack for his um, breathing, for the oxygen tanks to be back there. I just put the little little like a bowl on top of his head if it was a fish bowl upside down all right and you know let's get the other bubbles over here now there's a little teeny ones and small ones and just randomly just work them out and feel free to continue this process you may want to add some fish and other uh, sea life or uh, add more to the coral using your imagination and creativity is everything you hear me always say and there's a purpose that is, I think we're just about done. So let's sign, date, share with your family and friends. Thanks for watching this lesson and have a great day.